ba 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 Welcome everybody, Blundstone Arena here. That's the venue, I don't know why it's here, but we're playing uh, some more career mode here. Tasmania taking on the Vix in uh, our Andy Owen quest for glory. The man is the captain of the Victorian side. He's going to go with a head here. What a head. Just have a look at the hair on that bloke playing for Tasmania. It is messy. It is sort of the hairstyle I was going with for a little bit of time before I got me hair cut. Jeez, it's a real big buff, isn't it? Coming <laughs> on there. Tasmania have won the toss. They're going to bowl first, so that'll mean we're batting. Let's see how we go. I think we've seen that over time, that that's how it's gone. Oh, my batting is inverted. Let me switch that. And I've got the, uh, the jumper on over the top. Gee, that's quick. Rockets through. Riley Meredith's one of those bowlers that he really just gets some real zip. Yep. And obviously they wanted to, obviously the long boundaries, down the wicket so you can you can get those cheapy singles um, up the line. But um, obviously one thing you've noticed is just how uh, quick this is. And you see the bowlers, uh, well, you know, Tasmania chose to bowl first. So ball zipping through. Good toss to win, but that is a good quality shot. Played from Andy Owen. Not quite go to the boundary, but they'll turn and come back for three runs. Starting to come into some really good form here in uh, first class cricket. We've seen, I think, back to back hundreds in the last test match, or last first class game, sorry, uh, before we, you know, come into this one. So, and I think there was maybe even a hundred. Yeah. Wow, what a ball! I was going to say there was maybe even a hundred before this one. Look at that. That has gone straight through me. Oh, I want to have a look at this on the slow-mo because I've been absolutely bamboozled. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> I was kind of wondering why I didn't hit it. But it's because I did. I was like, there shouldn't have been a gap between the bat and the pad then. Turns out there wasn't. Some things don't make too much sense. I'm coming in a bowl. Might be at the night session. Tasmania 6 for 61. What if I can get the ball to go through the bat like they can? Oh, Obviously, we saw a fair amount in this wicket for the ball bowlers. With my dismissal, I'm just rocketing it through right there. Trying to get some swing back in towards the left-hander. Maybe get one to nip away off the seam or something as well. Oh, that's swinging too far down. Not gonna appeal about it. Yeah, if I can just get a little bit of wobbly seam going on. Yep. And we could maybe get a wicket that way. It's so always trying to adjust the seam position just a little bit each time when you are bowling. It's just to give you that natural variation of each delivery. Now you've got the in-swinger. You can just move it up or down a fraction. See how it turns out. Oh, playing a miss from Sandu. Maybe we should really be targeting the stumps with a guy like Sandu. He's a bowler, so we'll see how we go. Tasmania are absolutely oh, in disarray here. 7 for 76. As Sandu is just playing all around some of these deliveries. Let's hit him on the toe. I don't think it's... Uh... Oh, that's swinging a long way. It's whether it's hit him inside the line or not, I think, will be the determining factor. And they've given it a nod out. Gee, that umpire. Yeah, I reckon you've stiffed me here. Oh, the impact just outside off. Surely you give that out in a domestic game, don't you? Goes short. Oh, that hits him hard. That's going to hurt. Yes. I'm probably deserving of a wicket. I'm going to say. I've bowled some reasonably good bo balls so far. I haven't taken a wicket yet. Had a few plays and misses. Had a few close calls. Can you just nick this one, mate? Oh. We'll chop it on. <laughs> just a bit of something, please. Is this the ball? Yeah. Yes, it is! <laughs> oh, everybody gets up for that. Oh, I just had an inkling. And I didn't just say, is this the ball five times before I got that wicket? Yo! Jackson Bird gone. 8 for 85. Is this the next ball? Oh. Feel that, mate. Feel that. A bad ball. 27 overs 8 for 85. 
They should be knocked over very soon. We'll knock them over very, very soon. Yeah. Oh, where's my bed pad? Field it, throw it. Ah, dangerous. We were closing in. Oh, that's out. You've got to, you got to, you, you got to this time, mate. You've got to. No, you've got to give it out. Oh, where was that going? It was, had to be close, didn't it? I don't know if it's going to show the old delivery now or this one. Oh, that's going well down the leg side. Show the previous ball. Now that's the one I just bowled. All right. Yes! Bye-bye, Bell. This is just a good ball. Inside edge onto the stumps. So both of my wickets have been clean, but well, not clean, but one of them was clean. The other one was uh, an inside edge, but they've both been bowled. Two for ten. Oh, no, it's not out. Is it inside edge onto the pad? So wickets tumbled and we've sent them back in. I am back on. The captain is going with the captain. Three for 98. They need a further 78 runs to at least have some, some kind of competitiveness against us here. But I've been very good with the ball. The ball has been very good to me. And this wicket has been very good with the ball. So we've taken, uh, what did we take? Two or three wickets in the first innings. Two probably should have been four. Um, and hopefully we can replicate some of that goodness in this uh, next innings. I, there's not a lot of bounce on this pitch. I am going to move my, my keeper and slips up. Oh, that's nice. Without really banging it in towards the pitch. Keeper's a bit close now, don't you think? Yeah. It's really getting some real oof. Jordan Silk and Wakeem. I think Wakeem made some Wait. had some good effort with the bat earlier. Five for 101. Wait. Oh, good fielding, mate. Beautiful stuff. And it has put us in a strong position here. Jordan Silk. Facing up. That's the right. Length? I think the line was a little too wide. Oh, catch that ball, mate! Oh, that's a fraction close would be nice. Yeah, the real banging into the pitch is very reliant on where you release yeah. that ball! We got the outside edge! And it goes in between all the slips. Ah! Gee, so I've been bowling a nice, consistent line, nice, good length, really hitting the pitch hard and... Almost picking up the wicket of Jordan Silk. It's a boundary end of the over. Five for 105. So we got a six wicket. Tim Payne was the one dismissed. Wait. Even if they, they get the lead, it's not going to be a very big one. We are going to be able to just come back in and finish Wait. him off. Hopefully quickly with the bat. Reasonably well played shot there from Silk to keep out my extremely good Yorker. Now watch another one here. It's going to fire in at the stumps. Run. I really love the sound it makes when it goes straight through to the keeper's gloves when you've really hit the pitch hard and it gives that big thunk noise. Anyway, we'll, we'll try and get a little bit more of that happening in this next over. I really want to go through and, and have a really positive over here. I think you'll feel this is the over the wicket will fall. Okay, it's not that delivery. Let's try again. It's all about hitting the pitch hard and really digging it in. It's getting there, maybe some cutters, maybe a leg cutter, slightly slower delivery that really is hit, hitting the pitch at a real rapid pace. Perhaps the outside edge, not this time. But I am just setting him up for the one that does eventually swing in. It's been three or four in a row now. Oh, there's a good one. Three or four in a row now that have gone away. And then all of a sudden you see one just come in. Again, we've done really well. We've just done everything. Everything's been nice. It's all been swinging away. Let's try the one that comes back. Doesn't work this time. End of the over. I think that might have been a maiden. Six for 136. Finally, I get an opportunity at the left-handed Sandu. Yep, yep. Doesn't last for very long. He gets himself off strike with a one. And they're closing in on this lead, which is now only 35 runs. All right, I'm just going for the big... The big miracle ball. And it works! <laughs> oh, it was a very good delivery. I don't even think it would have hit the stumps if you didn't get at the inside edge. Probably would have missed. But thank you, kind sir. I went the big in-swinging Yorker. 
and went the really, really full one. Because sometimes I go a little bit back of, back of that Yorker length. Try and make it a half volley. No, but that was the big full one. The miracle ball and it worked. And it brings Jackson Bird to the crease. Oh. If only that hit him on the pads. It can be like, that's out. 40 overs. They're only three wickets away from being completely uh, gone and buried. Oh, no, it's a leg cutter. So it's it's missing the uh, off stump. Gee, the bowling off today has been really first class. Wait. Oh, no run there. Somehow, finds that gap, don't you, Jackson? Jackson? The tall man, Bird, a short ball. And he pulls, I was going to say pulls it away, but he pushes it through that gap past Cully. Cully? Gully. Jeez, I can't speak now. 44 overs gone, Tasmania trail by 20 runs. I reckon the tail will be cleaned up? Question mark? Mm, they're almost done. Riley Meredith on strike. One wicket away from victory. Actually, no, we're not. Because they uh, they currently lead it by 14 runs. Which means I would come in and bat for those 14 runs. No run. He's out of his crease. Yeah, not anymore. Just... Alright, I'm going to put a real super aggressive field in after this delivery. Alright, it's got to be short. Field suggests it. I bowl it. Very nice. Knowing my luck, this ball is going to go in between first and second slip. I reckon that's exactly where it's going to go. It changed the field up in a way that it's like, oh yeah, I don't need a second slip. It bloody well will hit him. Oh, maybe something. Yes! He's given him. It was a really slow, dramatic finger. I don't know if that was caught out. Or if it was LBW. I need to check what it actually was given out on. Whether they were giving it out as a catch. Oh, this was the magic ball I went for. The chop on. It was a pretty good nut anyway. I don't think they had any other boundaries. Show me the other wicket. Oh, they just got some shots in here. I think it's given out LBW. But this looks like a terrible decision. Look at where it pitches. It certainly does not pitch in line. Yeah, no, that's given out LBW. <laughs> that's a shocking decision. I want to have a look at it. I know we're going to come in in a moment and try and get these remaining 14 runs on day two. But this is a shocking decision. Here I come, by the way, Andy Owen. Averaging 45. Riley Meredith going to bowl. Look at this ball. Pitching outside leg. Impact umpire's call. Wicket umpire's call. Maybe because I just dramatically waited for my appeal. The umpire was like, yeah, we'll just give it out. It did not look out at all. And that's why it's because it wasn't everyone. It was not out. Anyway, we're going to need 14 runs for victory here. Should not be doing that. There's only 14 runs needed. And I don't even survive more than two deliveries. Has that gone straight through the middle of my bat again? Gone for two balls. Not a... Is, uh, did I make a pair, by the way? Just, just, just out of curiosity, first of all, did I make a pair? No, I made four in the first inning, so that's fine. Did I, did I edge this? Or has it gone... Oh, I mean... Oh, it really is like... Come on. Honestly... It's... Oh. I must I must have the wrong bat or something. This bat clearly just does not work. It's like playing with a hologram. Uh, but I guess at the end of the day, it is a victory and a victory is good nonetheless. It works for us as a player. It works for us as a team. And I think there might still be one or two more first-class games before the 2020s. But I'm really, really excited to get into that stuff. Can, yep. can you please... Get, thank you.
It took them 17 to look... No, it took them like eight balls from when I first started viewing to actually get these runs, and it came from an outside edge. So Victoria win the match. Nine wickets in the end. There was my wicket. Edge should never have been that faint, basically, and there's the boundary to win. Victoria winning by nine wickets, but let's just have a look here. Sandu was the player of the game. How? Our bowlers set the game up. Just because Sandu made 49 on it. Ah, okay, he probably did okay. Uh, Could have given it to maybe one of our batsmen, but um, it was an easy win in the end for us. Otherwise, we win. So I'm just going to delete myself here for a moment so I can show you how close we are to getting those 30 wickets. We are almost, look at that, we're almost, almost there with all three of our objectives. We should hopefully get them in the next one or two first class games, which will give us a lot of uh, bowling points. And uh, I don't even know what they give you. Do they give you like bowl, bowling points or do they give you, um, or are they going to give me like experience points to give me more things to level up? But otherwise, we're, we're moving along nicely. Um, we are going to play another first class game. It's Victoria, New South Wales. We'll do that next next video. We're gonna, we're gonna end it here. Um, but we'll just quickly, once again, take a look at the selection status because they're starting to notice us a bit more. We're getting attention for one day games uh, as part of the Australian team. We're a superstar of the Sheffield Shield with our four runs from six deliveries <laughs> in the last match. Um, but also the Manhattan as well, another massive thing because we saw, we saw that I said we were just in a, a rich vein of form, and it's all the way down the out, left side of the screen there, where we had 300s in a row before our two pitily, measly scores then on a very good bowling deck. But that's it for today, guys. We're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode. I hope you did enjoy it. We're batting all round up, but we're actually better at bowling, according to our overall stats. Hope you guys have had a great day. I'll see you all later. Oh yeah, and you should totally just click on the screen right now and, you know, subscribe to the channel. There's also a couple of videos up here you might want to watch. Have a ping!